An exercise in futility, for lack of better terms. Just wanted to see if I could do it. Sonic lines through individual windows, headlights. That one's rather small. Quarter of an inch. Why? Because I could. I don't know if this one's even going to show up. I really doubt it. eighth of an inch. So it's an eighth of an inch long and sixteenth of an inch wide. That's the smallest one I've ever done. Once again, why did I do that? Why not? This one was never quite finished. That's in 510. You can see I didn't get any detail onto the wheels yet. Or on the, the tail section. Or the nose. I wasn't sure I liked the, um, the way it was looking. Something just didn't look right. Um, but what you can see here on the hood you can see that there are hood lines and the little indent that the Datsuns have on their on their hood and on the trunk. Here's another 510. That uh, the only thing I didn't do with this one was put in lines for the doors. But you can see the front. It's got the grill, headlights. This one was going to be a four door. See the detail on the tail lights and the recessed license plate. And also you can see where where it has the the indent and you can see where it was actually cut for the trunk. And also lines for the hood. This is a 510 wagon. And you can see this one I have the doors cut on it. And it does have the tail lights. No rear bumper though. And when I get around to the front, there's no front bumper. And I was going to bend up wires and put them on for uh, bumpers on this one, but I never did. I carved the 510 into it. And just about half, about half an inch for those letters. Golf balls used to have elastic in them, and inside the elastic was a small rubbery ball. You never know until you cut it open whether it's going to be the, the one with the elastic or not. And you cut it, and then you start hearing it starting to crack, so you basically have to stop. So this is a 510 again. But this is the inside 
of a golf ball, like actually underneath the elastic band. That's in 240Z. I don't like the way I shaped the windows here. They should have been shaped a little bit differently. It's got the uh, rectangular tail lights. It has the uh, cutout for the hood. And also on the uh, 240Zs, they had a little access panel for the battery and for the master cylinders here that opened after you had the hood open. And I put those on there as well. And you can see that they've got the recessed headlights like the 240Zs had. And it's got the little spoiler on the back. The first golf ball I actually did carve was this one. There we go. That's in Roadster. It's got the slight recessed headlights that are kind of similar to what the, uh, the Z has. It's got the little hood scoop with the trim piece along the center. On the back of the car, it's very hard to see unless I get the light just right. You can actually see the, 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 the they have a reflector up here and then two round tail lights. And I actually did get those on there. And, of course, the recess for the license plate light. Also in the interior, you can see there are seats. This one kept rolling, so I had to cut the bottom off. So now it's giving me fits trying to get it to sit so I can show you. You can see the, the little hot rod. It's... Uh, Three-eighths of an inch, approximately. And, uh, just a little bit under three-quarters of an inch long. It's a roller coaster. You can see there's one set of cars sitting right here. And these are actually cut out of the outer casing of the ball, as are the cars up here. Now, if you follow the, the trail, it starts off here, goes in, and underneath here, and up the hill. And then it comes around here where this one is and then continues on down under here which comes out on this side here going the opposite direction comes down and then goes back up again and around and then underneath here through here comes out right here and comes around back to the start of the ride there you go little roller coaster it has uh, you know, several little tunnels through it Plus, if it'll focus, you look, there are tracks and individual ties cut into it. And also, all the bracing and the supporting as if this was a, a wooden coaster. I actually do have a small little case that I carry with me when I go to the boys hockey 
uh, because when I get there, I usually have 45 minutes to wait because they get there about 45 minutes before the game. So I'll usually sit and work on a carving uh, to show you. But um, it's a good way to pass the time. I'll actually even sit in my chair here, and even though it gets in the carpet, we just vacuum it up right away. Um, you know, having three boys, uh, it's not like I'm going to do any more damage to the, the furniture or the carpeting that, that, than they did over the years. I'm going to let you go. Catch you later. Have a good one.